We're on to the, uh, the identification side of it to identify uh, roughly what um, what they is, you know, what they are, and we'll start with a uh, semi cactus. This is a well-known uh, flower that wins all over the place, and it's um, a very good flower, a Mario cord. Now, as you can see, it's broader in the petal than the one next to it. But they both finish up in a nice point on the petal, which we are looking for. In my hand, this is not a real good example, is a petal out of a, a semi-cactus. Now, it should finish between a, qu a quarter and a half up the petal. If I shift my other hand, you can see it finishes here. Well, this one's a little bit fine on on the end, but it's still a semi-cactus. If I put this down, and I'll pick up a cactus one, you can see the difference. It almost comes, it comes right up to here, which is supposed to be half. Uh, it doesn't matter if it goes a fraction over it, but that, that's what uh, a fine petal cactus is. So that is a, um, a cactus, that is a semi-cactus over there. It's all about the, the, the shape of the actual petal. If you zoom in on the top of it now, you can really see the difference. In a minute we'll, we'll get to the decorative ones, which are blunter on the, the, the still than they are. So I'll put that down there. I put here a, um, a cactus, which is for a, it's not a real good cactus, but it's there for a purpose to show you how fine and how pointy it is. Now we're looking at, and it has a very good center. If you look at that center, it's right in the middle. It's a beautiful um, uh, comb center, and and fills out as, around it as it comes out. Uh, but you can really see what it is. Now. Um, we move on the next, we have the um, fimbriated cactus, uh, this is a, it, it's judged um, as a cactus um, and on the actual petals, the end of the petals, you'll see here that it has like a thumb and two fingers. Um, that the virtue. Um, this is to explain the identification of them. So that's about all you you need um, with that. Or if you're showing that, it should have a brush centre. I'm not going to go into too much detail with it because um, the purpose is, uh, on this one is just to um, identify the different uh, types of dias. Now we go over here. This is the best I've got, which is not real good. Uh, There's an exhibition cactus. And as you'll see, this is um, real raggedy. Um, the petal should come forward. The actual petalage is from the point right back to the, to the actual bud at the back of the, uh, the actual centre. It should be like a big curl all the way back. Um, that is an exhibition um, uh, flower. Now, if we go to the next one, once again, this is not... Um, a good flower by any means, it's a very poor flower actually, but it, it's just out of the purpose to show you if you see one of those, then you'll know that's a Stella. And if you take particular notice which way the actual petals fold. They fold upwards, I won't use the fancy word for it because um, <laughs> It makes it harder. This purpose, as like I said, is just for you to identify what it is. The actual fold is upwards, and they fold back like a mushroom out of a out of a out of a cone centre. Um, whereas the cactus fold the opposite way. As you, if you go back, and you'll pick it up over here. Uh, if I hold this up, it folds the opposite way to that. If I put this into here, the wrong way up. It matches.
We're up to the uh, decorative side now. I haven't put any any big ones out here. Uh, I've got them, but I've, I've left them out for a reason. Um, too many get the difference between the, the big ones where they sort of explain themselves. This is the best way I think of explaining the informal, the formal, and the semi-deck. Um, because a lot of them get mixed up with the, the actual petalage going back to the actual stem and laying back, they get mixed up and think it's a formal. In fact, it's not. This flower here, as you see, the petals, well, over they go back, it's an informal because they are crinkly. They're all out of shape. They don't lay back flat, which makes that an informal decorative. We go over here, and this one here, if I, here's the front of it, if I turn that around, it, they do form, fall, back, fall backward. But the next flower, which is I've put in here, really shows you the formal. See then, then the actual petalage laying back. Right back to the actual stem. Now that's a formal. That is an informal. The petalage has, 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 has it's got twists in it or out of, out of uh, which is not smooth and doesn't come back is an informal and that really shows you that highlights it there although it goes back um, it shows you that it's not now here we have a semi decorative and as you can see against the one next to it which I'll turn back around again in a minute it is more pointy on the actual petal it's not a ball because we've got the ball here next to it and as you can see this is a ball each petal is shaped like a ball not the flower the, the petal itself so you can see the difference now if I turn this one back around and you see the actual petalage how this one here is sharper than that one so there's your semi there's your ball. Now the next one along is a pom. And as you can see, the pom has a different pitlage again. If you pull out a petal out of a, out of a ball, which I'll do, I've got two instead of one. That's a, the pellage out of the um, ball there, as you can see, where it shape it is, putting it around, and it's just a little V down there. Now, if I was to put that ne next to the, the, the pom, you can really see the difference in the pom. The pom petal is more suppressed, and it's completely circular. So there, there's, there's the difference between the, the ball. So you've got a, a ball, a, a pom, a ball, a semi-deck, a formal deck, another formal deck, but not as pronounced as this one, and an informal deck. On to the, uh, another run. We have uh, a water lily. And as you can see, it, uh, the water lilies are all cupped. There should be no more than about five rows of, of um, petals. That's full uh, size uh, florets. And, and as you, you can see, it actually uh, represents a, a water lily. Um, I suppose it's not a true water lily, because if you see one in the pond, it's a little more pointy than that, but uh, that's what we class as, as a water lily. You can see the petals cup forward. The one next to it is a poor example of a uh, colorret. The colorette's got um, a, um, a colorant, as you can see, in the center. And 
eight petals, flat petals on the outside. Uh, they should be uh, flat as, as possible, flat as you can get them. Um, the actual colour should be no more than um, half the size of the, uh, around about half the size of the of the flower. Um, that's a bit light on the colour. Uh, just one we picked out of the garden to actually show you what a, a colour it is. The one next wood is very similar but it has no collar. It is simply a, a, what we class as a single flower. Um, no, that's not it because it's got one, it's just a, what we call a single. Um, you can really see on this one how flat the petals are. The collarette should have this type petals on it with a collar. Uh, that is the correct amount of um, petals there, there's eight. Uh, I won't go into details of how you dress them and all that because this is just the purpose of, once again, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, we've got an um, anemone next to it. This has got the little trumpets in the, in the dome in the centre. Uh, once again, it's got the uh, eight petals at the back. And uh, you have like little trumpets in the, in, in the actual front of it. Uh, once again, it's uh, half the size of the of the flower that's getting close to it. But this is, you know, as I said, the next be just, just to show you what, what it is. And uh, the last one, of course, here is a, uh, an orchid. Um, and of course there's no surprise you can see that that is a, uh, uh, an orchid once again it should have eight petals uh, which it, that has um, they should open up flat like that and each one should run to a point uh, on the end actually that's quite a good ex example that's quite a good good one probably a little bit gap in between that but we won't go into that um, yeah that's an orchid day